Hi everybody and welcome to the Spain Gibraltar channel and welcome to my series about moving to Spain or buying a house in Spain. In this video, I'm going to talk about home inspections in Spain. I recently had somebody reach out to me asking about one of their buyers or clients or friends that's purchasing a property somewhere in Spain and they were asking about the home inspection process. So the first and best answer to the question of finding a home inspector in Spain is they don't exist. I mean, you might find a contractor, you might find an electrician, you might find an individual to come take a look at stuff. For us here in Spain, a home inspection is not a normal part of the buying process. In Minnesota, when we fill out a purchase agreement, the buyer has the option for an inspection. They have an option to make the purchase agreement contingent on the inspection. That doesn't exist here. Basically, if you're planning on buying a property in Spain, you are buying it as is. And I would assume that most people that are coming to Spain to buy a property probably have a sufficient amount of money to be able to handle any types of repairs that might come up. Now, in some of the larger cities like Madrid and Barcelona, their agents might have a home inspector. I don't know, but I highly doubt it because the real estate market here is not the same. And I don't even really call it similar to anything that we're really used to back in the United States. It's very different. So for instance, when I bought my house, I contacted the owner because it was for sale by owner. I never had any good luck with an agent. So being a former real estate agent in Minnesota, I decided to start looking on my own and I found this house. And when I found the house, I negotiated with the owner. I brought my father-in-law here to take a look. He's a contractor and he looked and said, yeah, you know what, this house looks good. But there are a lot of hidden stuff. There's a lot of things that you can't see. The walls here are made out of concrete. And if you buy in a, a condo, they're also made of, out of concrete and brick. And guess where the wires are and the pipes? They're hidden in the wall back behind concrete. There's really not a great way to look inside and see if they're old or new. Appliances, all that stuff, your water heater, your air conditioning unit, your refrigerator, the stove, all those things you are buying as is. Now, if you come across something when you're looking at the house and it doesn't work, you might be able to negotiate with the owner and say, hey, that water heater is broken. Can you please take it out before I move in? And they might say, sure. But you are probably not going to negotiate like we do back in Minnesota, where you say, hey, that water heater is broken. Please replace it. And there's also no laundry list of items to, for the seller to perform on an inspection like we deal with and dealt with a lot back in Minnesota where if, you know, please replace this item, please fix this item, please replace that item. That does not exist here in Spain. And as much and as many houses as I've been into and seen and asked agents about that, that's just how it, it works here. So just keep in mind, if you're buying a property in Spain, you are probably buying it as is. There might be some slight room for negotiation. When I bought my house, there was some furniture here. There was, for instance, an old couch. And I asked the previous owners, hey, can you take that old couch out? And they did, but it's not common for very much negotiation to happen here. Most places are sold as is. And if you did want to have an inspection on a property that you'd like to buy, you should do that inspection prior to putting in a purchase agreement. Now, if you're working with a real estate agent, they probably are the ones who are connecting you with a lawyer, preparing the purchase agreement, etc. A lot of times in Spain, we don't have buyer's agents, we have seller's agents, and you might see a for sale sign and contact that agent, and that's the agent that's handling both sides of the transaction. So that agent would know what items might be repaired and what items might not. However, for the most part, buying a property in Spain is buying as is. But if you want to get a home inspection, you should 
talk to your agent or if you're buying by yourself, you should look for an electrician, look for a plumber to come in and evaluate the electric system and the plumbing system, depending on what type of property you're buying. If it's a completely remodeled property, it might be all in good shape, it might not. It's pretty tough, especially in the south of Spain. A lot of times it can be really difficult to find a contractor or to find someone to come take a look at a house and inspect a house for you because it's just not common here. Like it's just like it is in the US when you when your agent says, hey, here's a list of inspectors. You can call one and set up an inspector and I'll be here with you when they inspect the house. It doesn't happen like that here. I, I think honestly, if I were to say, let's just take me for example, if I were to just come here and buy a house, and I were to say, oh, I want to have a home inspection. The agents or the sellers would look at me funny like, what is that? What are you talking about? Because it's just, it is it is not at all the same that it is back home. So as I finish up this video, I've repeated myself several times, but just know that if you're purchasing a house in Spain, you're probably buying it as is, and there will probably be little to no negotiations and I highly doubt that the seller would even agree to having a home inspection, especially after a purchase agreement is already laid out on the table. There's really no backing out. Once you, once you sign a purchase agreement and pay your earnest money, there's no way to back out without losing your earnest money. And that's the same for the seller. If they back out of the contract, they owe you double the money. So. Buying a house in Spain, make sure it's what you want to buy. Make sure it's what you want. And if you see any potential items or problems, either be prepared to fix them and have the money to fix them or don't purchase the property because inspections just don't exist here in Spain. So much for joining the Spain Gibraltar channel. As always, if you have any questions about moving to Spain or you have questions about travel to Spain or Gibraltar, please be sure to leave a comment in the comments section below. Thanks so much.